Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from everybody watching this channel, depending on the time zone. Now, uh, recently, Rigata Gashaba officially moved into the official residence of the deputy president in Kare. Before, he was delaying, he was still staying in his uh, private uh, residence, and the whole issue that he was claiming was that there is still serious, uh, massive renovation taking place in that property. Gashaga was going to an extent of claiming that Ruto was suffering in a current because even the roof was leaking water. At Ruto, I was Nyashawa, Namvua, Akiwa. Akiwa Karen, Kulikua Kumarabika, Maji, Ilikua in Avuja, Kila Mali, my pipes, and Akila Kitu. So, serious renovation was happening before he occupied. And after he occupied, people are sharing the photos. You can see the images coming, you can see the front image. Uh, you see on the marbles that were there before, because those are marbles, eh? And uh, what was there when Ruto was using that office? People are discussing. They are talking about it. And then they are also doing a comparison of what was happening at Setups. Ruto had an option to say, Sujana, I was going to say, 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 Na jinsi katiba ili hivyo basi nafaa akua ame occupy state house Ndiyo ajua kwa mba in power So angekua ya ni kashagwa pia kwa huko ngini angefana ili mchezo kashagwa alikuwa nafanya But now we are seeing at the state house They removed that uh, tamak Wakayeka hizo kabros People also shared their views So there is that comparison there What was there and what these two individuals are putting Many Kenyans Are of the view that Whatever was there earlier was better than what has been put there. Check on Gashagwa, and then uh, when he's there, and what Ruto was using when he was there, go to set out, check on that tamak that was removed, and now the cabro that is there, the tamak was looking, looking wonderful. Is my cabro in a cab to the Guinness and Jab? How do pick a picture in a cab to The question is why renovation? That is the big question we are asking also on this punchline. Before we continue, just a quick request. For those who are watching and you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing. To the channel of the Prime Minister, thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you and back to this discussion. And by the way, by giving a thumbs up, we are just helping uh, uh, our channel so that YouTube will uh, uh, try to use their logarithm to allow our video to be watched by many people. So give it a thumbs up. Now, back to our discussion. One question someone will ask, if renovation was happening at the official residence of the deputy president, when was that building uh, put up? The truth is that this building is barely 10 years old. Ile office in Yeruta alikuwa na car last time ilikuwa Raila aitumie. This accommodation you are seeing ilikuwa Raila atumie as the prime cabinet secretary, uh, prime minister. Mambo ya prime cabinet secretary imeanza kuchanganya. So this is a new resident that is barely 10 years. The question people will ask, how are you repairing a building that is just barely 10 years? Look on the marbles that are changing there. Marbles, not tiles. Marbles. Marbles are enough for the after maybe 50 years. Kile kitu unaitaji kufanda kwa marbles is just polishing. You just polish and you continue. You say polish, polish, polish. They will always sign. Either as equal the tiles. Lakini kashagwa, aliyama kumua those marbles. Awake marbles gine. The big bombshell here that you need to know is that when people want to eat money, they must start projects. So the big project that we have witnessed is the renovation of the 
official resident of the deputy president ile pesa kubwa mliona wakaweka kule hao watu wakakula bajeti kubwa ya mwaka mzima ndio hiyo ndio hiyo there was no way the shaka would eat money if he would not initiate a project of construction or renovation this is the only way they will eat money because now that what they normally do listen careful you over budget in terms of materials that is needed to do the renovation work hata watu wengine wote in any organization mahali pa kulia pesa hata kwa wale wenye wanakao kwa shule ama principals na watu wengine anywhere in any uh, organization siku ya kukula pesa na kuanga siku ya kufanya maendeleo in terms of those projects ukianza mambo ya ujenzi na mambo mengine hapo ndo kuna kuanga na nafasi ya kukula pesa vizuri ndio maana tunaona hata magama na watajaribu nje yoyote ile to initiate project so that wapate kitu kidogo ya kukula kama wakuli direct unatumia wale watu naitwa um, eh wale watu wanaopewa zile contract wale contractors that's what normally happen so gashaga had seen the first opportunity to eat now you can understand that when pastor zeke said that kuna nyang'ao wako kwa kwa uongozi now you can see it it is coming how ndo nyang'ao pastor zeke was talking during campaign time the first thing they saw was to initiate the project to eat money hakuwa na kazi nyingine kubwa hapo because one will ask what is the priority of this government what is their priorities we are seeing misplaced priorities tulikuwa na hali kwamba gharama ya maisha imekuwa juu wakenya wanakufa njaa sasa hii serikali ilitumia gashagwa kupeana pebe namba kuambia wakenya wachangisha pesa ya kwenda kupelekea wananchi watukufu watokana chakula kwa sababu wanakufa njaa wakenya walichanga pesa ili hali hao waliona priority kubwa ni ku renovate office residence ya Gashagwa ukitumia pesa za serikali. Kwa nini hawakupeana first priority kwa kupelekea watu waturukana chakula? Wanaenjoy watukufu waturukana. Hawakuona hiyo ikuwa first priority. First priority ilikuwa ku renovate huko. Na hakupona na shida kubwa. Hii ni mjenga ambaye inafaa ikae miaka kama 20 30 ndio wafanye first renovation because this is a new building that is just 10 years old from the time it was launched so now you understand they don't have any interest to serve kenyans their first interest na hii ndio scandal ya kwanza kabisa kama watu wangu kujua scandal zilikuwa zinaendelea huu ndio mradi mkubwa wa Ruto na Gashagwa wenye walianza nao renovation the first scandal in Kenya kwanza government ndio hiyo hizo zingine zimefata so now you can see the priority haikuwa hasla wakati wa kampeni walikuwa wanakuja na na wananunua hiyo e, e, chapati zenu wanaanza kuwagawia kwa magari mkaona oh tuko na watu wenye wanaona maskini hawa watakuwa wanatugawia chapati kila siku hata hiyo wakati kulikuwa na corona ruto hakuosha mkono gashago hakuosha mkono wanachukua tu yekanda mambo iko na mna gani they never cared hawakujali ya kwamba kuna corona walikuwa sasa watu walikafikia hii hey, watu walikuwa na watakuwa na gawanga tu pesa watakuwa na gawanga chapati wanakuja wanunua chapati zetu zote wanapeana zote ai mambo ya big sasa pesa mmeona maana pesa zilienda ile pesa ya deputy president ilikuwa tumia kwa mwaka mzima ilienda pale kufanya renovation millions of shillings millions of shillings zimeenda hapo hawakujali kuna watu tukana wanja and the state house wakamoa tamak yote waka wakaanza kumwaga zile kabla so wameka pale millions and millions of shillings have been spent there hizo makabro zao zinakaa mbaya hata ukipiga picha pale inakaa mbaya hata ukishaweka tu chini the red carpet inakaa mbaya kabisa Fananisha na zile zenye uhuru alikuwa anatumia pale. They were nice photos. Super amazing, so wonderful. Sasa priority ya Ruto ilikuwa wapi? Kuweka Cabros at a state house ama kupea chakula kwa wananchi wenye walikuwa njaa. 
Alikuja akatoa subsidy. Na tukaona yeye anajenga kule set house. So priority yake ilikuwa wapi? Ilikuwa kujenga macabros ama kuweka subsidy wa Kenya wasukufu nje. Ruto has no any interest of serving Kenyans, especially the poor people. You are on your own. Angekuwa na wajali, angesitisha mpango mzima wa ujenzi wa marekebisho ama renovation kule state house, Kiswahili na eh wanaita hivyo ni sawa tu bora nyinyi mmeelewa kitu nimesema angesimamisha hiyo angesitisha hiyo mpango wa ku renovate state house ashughulikie mambo ya chakula na aweke subsidy e ya kuona hiyo anabeba pesa yote anapeleka wapi huko ndio mkaona bajeti yake mwaka mzima imekuliwa tu kwa miezi sita ile pesa yote ilimwaga pale na ilikuwa ni mpango mzima wa kutafuta mahali pa kukula so from day one to took over power he started recovering his money ile alikuwa anawapea kwa campaign ile pesa mlikuwa mnakula kwa campaign inarudishwa na pastor zake alisema ya kwamba nyangao wanakuja kwa power ndio hawa na mnaona bila wanawakula they never care about you they care about their own interest now you can see i don't know your views about this but let us meet at the comment section for coordination of that of this conversation otherwise thank you so much and see you in our next video